In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. A morning offering by St. Therese of the Child Jesus. O my God, I offer thee all my actions of this day for the intentions and for the store and for the glory of the sacred heart of Jesus. I desire to sanctify every beat of my heart, my every thought, my simplest works, by uniting them to its infinite merits, and I wish to make reparation for my sins by casting them into the furnace of its merciful love. O oh my God, I ask of thee for myself and for those whom I hold dear, the grace to fulfill perfectly thy holy will, to accept for love of thee the joys and sorrows of this passing life, so that we may one day be united together in heaven for all eternity. Amen. Most sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. And in the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, Amen. Welcome po sa ating uh, uh, daily uh, conferences on the prayer of the presence of God. At, uh, well, our daily conferences are uploaded on our YouTube channel, Sense of the Sacred. Don't forget to subscribe and to click the notification bell, okay? Um, we are, today is the Feast of St. Dominic, San, Santo Domingo de Guzman. No? At, uh, St. Dominic was the founder of the Order of Preachers, okay? Eh, dahil taga UST ako, well, uh, uh, I am a product of a Dominican school, and therefore, I, uh, I honor St. Dominic by wearing black today. Okay? Remember, the Dominicans are called the Black Friars. Okay? So, I, I wear black today in honor of St. Dominic. Okay? Um, and, uh, well, in the old, in the old, uh, in the old uh, uh, calendar, today is the Feast of St. John Marie Vianney. The, the patron saint of parish priests. In fact, nakakapagtaka nga yun eh. Kasi dun sa reformed calendar, pinagpalit lang talaga. Okay? Kasi yung August 4 in the old calendar was the feast of St. Dominic. And, uh, to the, and today uh, is the feast of St. John Vianney. Nung nag-reform ng calendar, eh, ko bakit siya, nag-trip-trip lang talaga sila dun. Okay. Pinagpalit lang talaga. Si St. Dominic ang nilagay ngayon, tapos yung dating feast ni Dominic, ginawa namang feast ni St. John Marie Vianney. Uh, I, I still have to research. Bakit kaya napagtripan nilang, pag, pag, pagpalitin lang naman yung fiesta ng dalawa? Okay? I will have to research on that. Okay? So, uh, ang ating, uh, ang ating uh, title ng conference ngayon ay Strive for a proper attitude of the soul. Okay? Pag sumikapan na makuha yung uh, proper attitude uh, ng kaluluwa, yung tamang disposition, yung nararapat na disposition ng kaluluwa. So, bago natin, uh, bago, bago natin marating yung rurok ng uh, panalangin, communion with God, okay, and even afterwards, ang panalangin ay pwedeng mag, mag, mag hayag o mag, maglatag sa atin ng iba't ibang mga aspeto. Okay? At uh, ang anak, ang kaluluwa ng isang anak ng Diyos, dahil siya ay masunurin, okay? masunurin, tinatanggap niya ang iba't ibang mga antas. Uh, at ang iba't ibang mga antas ng, uh, uh, ng, ng ibinibigay ng espiritu ng ama sa kanya. So, the soul, the filial soul, okay, accepts uh, uh, the different by by degrees okay accepts the different aspects of uh, of prayer okay 
accepts them by degrees and in the measure in which the Spirit of the Father communicates them to it. Okay? So, iba't iba. No? The, Holy, the Holy Spirit communicates to us in various degrees uh, the, the different aspects of communion with God. Minsan, okay, minsan, nakikita natin uh, ng maliwanag ng maliwanag yung judge. Okay? Maliwanag ng maliwanag, nakikita natin yung judge. Okay? Uh, na uh, ganap na kanyang natatalos yung pinakakaibuturan ng ating mga puso. At uh, ipinapakita niya sa atin yung lahat ng kahunghangan ng ating buhay. Lahat ng ating pagiging makasarili. Lahat ng ating sensuality. Okay? Yung ating pagmamataas yung ating pagiging parang yung vanidad, our vanity, yung uh, ay, pagiging seloso natin at maging yung mga damdamin natin ng uh, pagkamuhi, okay, galit. Pinapakita niya sa atin yung ang karahasan at yung karuwagan ng ating kaluluwa o kaya naman pinapakita sa atin yung mga foolish enthusiasms yung mga takot, yung mga katamaran, yung mga pagpapabukas, bawat isa na ito ay pinapakita minsan ng Espiritu Santo sa atin. Okay? So there are times when our sins are so clearly revealed to us by the Holy Spirit. Okay? At... Uh, nakikita natin sa ating uh, pananampalataya ang Diyos. No? Nakikita natin siya sa kalaliman ng kanyang kabutihan no? na nagkakaloob sa atin ng buhay. Uh, nakikilala, kinikilala sa mga oras na yon ng kaluluwa na siya ay nilikha ng Diyos na siya ay galing sa Diyos at siya ay kaisa ng Diyos, pinupuspos ng Diyos at pinakikilos ng Diyos. Okay? Minsan naman, pinapakita sa panalangin, ipinapakita ng Diyos ang kanyang sarili sa pamamagitan ng lahat ng mga bagay na kanyang nilalang. So, there are times our sins become very clear to us in prayer. Pero, there are also times when we clearly perceive the presence of God in all created things. Na parabagang madali nating naiintindihan na ang sanlibutan ay gawa ng Diyos. Okay. Ang lahat ng mga nilikha ay nanggaling sa Kanya at mula sa Kanya lamang. And even beyond the visible world, higit pa sa mga sa sanlibutang nakikita natin, ay laganap na laganap ang kadakilaan ng Diyos. Yung hindi nakikitang kadakilaan ng Diyos. Proceeding from Him alone and perfected in Him alone. So, nakikita natin na ang Diyos lamang, katangi-tangi, nag-iisa, hindi nagbabago, walang hanggan, Siya ang pinagmumulan ng lahat ng karunungan, ng lahat ng kabutihan, nananatili siya sa kanyang sarili samantalang ibinibigay niya ang kanyang sarili pinalalawak niya ang kanyang sarili nang hindi man lamang dinadagdagan ang kanyang kadakilaan dahil ito'y sapat na sapat at puspos na okay? so before this okay, 
we must always come back to this. Before this, our mind stops. We are stunned. Nabibigla tayo. No? We are dazed. No? Parang natatandaan nyo yung, yung uh, uh, feast, ng, uh, feast ng transfiguration, di ba? Uh, yung bang noong nakita ng mga alagad, yung kalwalhatian ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo, they were stunned. Okay? To the point that Peter did not anymore understand what he was saying to the Lord. Lord, how good is it for us to be here. Let us stay here. Okay, let us stay here. Okay? May mga pagkakataon talaga na uh, parang uh, habang tayo ay nananalangin, parang bigla lang tayo natutulala sa kadakilaan ng Diyos. Okay? Yung hindi natin biglang maarok ang kadakilaan ng Diyos, the greatness of God, okay? the greatness of God. Or may mga pagkakataon naman na kung saan ang Espiritu Santo, na siyang Espiritu ng Diyos Anak, ay bumubulong ng iisang salita lamang, Ama, Abba. So there are times when the Holy Spirit dwelling in us simply utters that word, Father. Diba? We have received the Spirit who enables us to cry out to God, Abba, Father. Abba, Father. Yung wala kang masabi, kundi Ama. Okay? Uh, uh, nakakaramdam tayo, no? parang para itong hininga, no? parang maliit na hininga na lumalabas na lamang mula sa kaibuturan ng ating pagkatao. It is the breath of the divine life that the Father communicates eternally to the Son. And at this breath, the soul feels turned around, powerfully drawn, and carried up to Him who is giving Himself to it. So itinataas ng Espiritu Santo ang kaluluwa at inilalabas niya ang kaluluwa sa kanyang sarili. Hinihingahan, inihihinga sa kaluluwa ang kanyang liwanag, ang kanyang lakas na dati-rati ay hindi pang nararanasan, hindi pa natutuklasan ng kaluluwa. The Holy Spirit wants to resemble, to take to itself. Uh, the soul wants to resemble, to take to itself and be united with that Spirit who is the Spirit of God. Sa mga pagkakataon ito, ninanais natin yung mayroon tayong marubdob na pagnanais na maging kamukha ng Diyos, maging kawangis ng Diyos. Okay, maging kawangis ng Diyos. At uh, na- naaalala natin ang salita ng Diyos anak. Be perfect as your Father is perfect. Be holy as I, the Lord your God, am holy. Natatandaan nyo, some days ago we were talking about that, di ba? That you know, we would like to, the Holy Spirit would like to reproduce in us the perfections of God. And what is, what do you call the perfections of God reflected in the human soul? They are called virtues. So we can never be equal to God. Okay? We can never be equal to God, but we can resemble God. Okay? Ma- bagamat kailanman hindi tayo magiging kapantay ng Diyos, pero maari tayong maging kawangis ng Diyos. At mayroong mga pagkakataong 
napaka-rubdob ng pagnanais natin. Lord, I want to become like you. How to be you po? Lord, how can I become like you? It un- the soul understands that this reflection of the divine beauty in it seems to make the Father grow greater and gives Him joy and glory. It asks and wants that joy and glory for Him who imparts to it His life and the glorious light of His love. Remember what we said, I think we said that uh, two days ago, the feast day of the Transfiguration. Ang sabi niya atin, di ba? Sabi ng, medit- ng, 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 con- ng conference, sabi, The Holy Spirit replicates in the soul the image of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. And when the Father sees the image of God the Son in our soul, the Father delights in the fact that He is our Father. He delights in the fact that He is the Father of that image that He sees uh, created, replicated, reproduced by the Holy Spirit in the soul. Okay. Uh, may mga pagkakataon na hinihingi ng ating kaluluwa okay, para sa kanyang sarili at para sa iba, para sa higit na marami mga tao, para sa lahat ng tao. Okay. Hindi niya maintindihan kung bakit uh, lahat ng tao ay hindi natatangay at nababago ng paghahangad na maging kawangis ng Diyos. Okay. Tinatawag niya sila, okay? inaanyayahan, inaawitan, All you works of the Lord, bless the Lord, praise and exalt Him above all forever. Earth exalt, break out into cries of joyfulness, angels of heaven, uh, virtues of earth, stars of the firmament, zephyrs of the air, showers and dews, ice and snow, mountains and hills, waters and sea, birds of the air and fish from the waters which animate them with their rapid motions, children of men and the people of God, priests and devout servants of the Most High, praise Him, bless Him, sing that He is great above all these things. Unite in that praise so that it fills the heavens and the earth, time and eternity forever. Nakanasan niyo ba yun? Yung, when all of a sudden, your soul bursts into praise of the Lord. Unfortunately, kasi alam po ninyo, marami sa atin, nagdadasa lang kapag may kailangan. Okay? Minsan, sasabihin mo, Halika, let us go to the Adoration Chapel and pray. Father, wala pa naman ang pangangailangan eh. Ano sasabihin ko dun? What will I say? Wala namang kailangan ngayon. Yung nga problema natin eh. Tingin natin sa Diyos, ATM. Naaalala lang natin ang Diyos kapag wala ng supply. Yung bang, bakit? Hingi lang bang pwede mong sabihin sa panalangin? Hindi ba pwedeng purihin mo ang Diyos nang wala kang hinihingi? Hindi, mo, hindi ba pwedeng sabihin, Lord, nandito ako ah. Lord, hindi ako hihingi. Gusto ko lang sabihin, gusto, gusto ko lang purihin ka. Dahil ikaw ay Diyos. Gusto ko lang na purihin ka dahil sa oras na ito, ramdam kong pagmamahal mo. I just want to praise you. And I want to infect others. Tell them, let us praise the Lord. Okay? Minsan, yung aspeto ng papuri, yung aspeto ng pagsamba, 
yun ang nawawala sa ating panalangin. For us, it is just, you know, if I have no need, kung walang pangangailangan, then I don't see why I should pray. Okay? Now, uh, sa harap ng pagpupuri ng sang nilikha, pinapakita minsan ng Espiritu Santo yung pagwawalang bahala, yung kakulangan ng pangunawa nating mga tao. Tayo'y nagre-rebelde sa Diyos. Sa halip na mamutawi sa atin ang mga salita ng pagmamahal, pag-ibig para sa Diyos, ang mga bibig natin ay nagpapak- nag- nagpapahayag ng pagkamuhi. Nakikita natin yung bang tinatalikuran, winawalang bahala ang pag-ibig ng Diyos. At higit sa lahat, hindi inuunawa, hindi nauunawaan. Sa ilalim mismo, sa, sa ilalim mismo ng mapagmasid na mata ng Diyos Ama, dumadami ang mga taong nanganganib na mahulog sa impyerno. Ay, kalat-kalat ngayon yan. Mga simbahang sinusunog. Mga larawan ng Panginoon na nilalapas tangan. Sa Poland, sa Poland kamakailan lamang, nilapas tangan ng mga protesters na LGBT ang isang pagkaganda-gandang uh, estatwa ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo. At kahapon parang na, ano, isang araw nakita ko sa Facebook yung balita na yung president ng Poland ay nag-alay ng bulaklak sa harapan ng nilapastangang larawang iyo ng ating Panginoon. Remember, I think it was also the same president who ordered the consecration of Poland to Christ the King. Okay? Ngayon, nung nilapastangan yung larawan ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo ng mga protesters, nilagyan ng rainbow na, na bandera. Ngayon, nag-alay ng bulaklak ang Pangulo ng Polonia. bilang pagbabayad puri sa paglalapas sa paglapastangan sa mahal na larawan ng ating Panginoon. Pero yun nga eh, dumadami ng dumadami ngayon at hindi na natatakot, hindi na nahihiya ang makaaway ng Diyos sa pagpapakita nila ng pagkamuhi nila kay Heso Kristo, pagkamuhi nila sa Diyos. The number of people in danger of falling into hell is increasing. They are insensible to His voice. Hindi na pinapakinggan, hindi na pinapansin ang tinig ng Diyos. Hindi nila pinapansin ang mga ebidensya ng kanyang pag-ibig. Sa halip, yung sarili lang interes, yung sarili lang ideolohiya, yun lang ang kanilang inaatupag at pinapakinggan. Marami din naman, yung iba naman, inabot ng napakahabang panahon. Araw-araw nakikita niyang kadakilaan ng Diyos. Araw-araw nakikita niya ang mga nilalang ng Diyos. Araw-araw nakikita niya. Pero pagkatas ang mahabang panahon, biglang boom! Nagising sila. Ah, bakit hindi ko nakita yun noon? Bakit hindi ko napansin yan noon? Okay? 
there are there are others who are awakened okay who are awakened suddenly it enters into their soul and crushes and shatters them and Jesus allows them to share from afar very afar the hours of his agony in the garden of olives his supreme abandonment on mount calvary and at the sight of these things which crushes and overwhelms them they perceive what a heart infinitely tender and delicate much more so than that of any mother spouse and friend of all time they suddenly realize such love so delicate that had to suffer on the cross for them minsan talaga no ang tagal bago magising sa harap ng katotohanan na araw-araw tinititigan tayo ng Diyos ng buong pagmamahal. Pero, madalas hindi natin ito napapansin. So, they, also, they ask, they demand, they insist on the punishment of so many crimes. My God, they say, your eyes are purity itself. They cannot bear the sight of iniquity. How can you put up with those who do evil? How can you keep silent when the wicked persecute the just? Minsan, no, yung, kapag naririnig natin kung paano nilalapastangan ang mga simbahan, minsan may isip mo na ang Lord, Kailan ba? Hanggang kailan ka ba magtitiis? Hanggang kailan mo ba pagtitiisan ang lahat ng mga paglapastangan na ito? Remember, at in the book of Revelations, Apocalypse, di ba? Beneath the altar were the souls of the little ones who cry out, Lord, when will you give vengeance? Kailan mo kami paghihi Kailan mo kami ipaghihiganti? Okay. Yung iba naman who no longer seem to see anything or wish anything. Okay. Basta papasok lang sila sa malalim na malalim na katahimikan. For them God is like a distant and hidden place of retreat. The soul simply remain with God. Ninanam nam nila ang Dios. Parang ninanam nam mo ang isang hinug na bunga. Sarap. Basta pinakikinggan lang nila yung kagandahan ng kanyang tinig at ang kanyang mga salita ang nagpupuspos sa kanila ng matinding kagalakan. Okay. Yung hindi malirip na kapayapaan ang pumupuspos sa kanila, bumabalot sa kanila, humehele sa kanila tulad ng paghele ng isang ina sa kanyang sanggol. Para bagang natawid na nila sa isang iglap yung hangganan ng pananahan ng Diyos na kanilang iniibig. At minamahal nila ang Panginoon sa liwanag na yan para nakapasok na sila doon sa innermost chamber, the chamber of the king. Parang transfiguration. Pero kailang ipagpatuloy ang paglalakbay, ipagpatuloy ang pagsusumikap. We must be resigned to continue our pilgrimage to our true home like children who are loved 
but still are in exile. Ang iba't ibat samut saring mga pamamaraan o anyong ito ng panalangin. Okay, iba't iba samut saring anyo ng panalangin. Ay actually bahagi ng isang napakalalim na pagkakaisa. Bakit? Say all of these forms of prayer, no matter how different they seem to be from each other, they are inspired by only the same divine breath. They are inspired by the same Holy Spirit, by the same love. The same word speaks to them. The same Father utters this word in the depth of their heart. Unity and distinction. Divine characteristics marking all life like all being. It is the same God, still giving himself to souls with the same love and in the various attitudes that he assumes in their regard when they pray. Minsan nakakapagtaka yung pagkakaiba-iba ng mga disposisyon ng panalangin. Father, hindi kaya yung pagkakaiba-iba yan? Hindi kaya ito lumalaban sa prinsipyo ng pag-ibig? Nakikita ba natin, uh, nakikita ba nating pare-pareho ang ugnayan sa pagitan ng ina at ng kanyang anak. Okay. Diba, hindi ba pare-pareho ang larawan noon? Hindi pare-pareho ang anyo ng pagmamahal ng ina, ng pagmamahalan ng ina at ng anak. Okay. Maternal affections and all human affections are comparisons but only comparisons they give us some idea of the reality but they do not uh, reproduce it wholly furthermore we are guilty and sick souls ang isang batang nagkakamali ang isang anak na nagkakamali ay minamahal pa rin. Bagamat kailangan niyang maintindihan kung saan siya nagkamali. Kailangan na bagamat para sa kanyang kabutihan, kailangan niyang maparusahan. Ang isang may sakit na, sang- na anak ay nangangailangan ng atensyon ng kanyang ina. Subalit, kapag kinakailangan ng masakit na operasyon, hindi, hindi mag-aatubili ang magulang na sumang-ayon doon. Diba? Misis, kailangan ho ng anak niya ng operasyon. Sasang-ayon sila. Kahit alam nilang masakit yung hiwain yung anak nila. Pero sasang-ayon sila. Bakit? Kasi ayaw nilang mamatay ang kanilang anak. So kapag tayo nagmamahal, hinahangad natin ang ikabubuti ng taong minamahal natin. At gagawin natin lahat, makamit natin yun. Remember our reflection yesterday? Ang problema ngayon, was it the other day? Ang problema ngayon, we only like to give our children pleasant things. We have forgotten that we are supposed to give only what is good for them. Okay? Yeah, minsan, masakit din, no? Pero kailangan itama tayo ng Diyos. Minsan, kailangan parusahan din tayo para tayo ay magtanda. 
minsan kailang payagan yang uminom tayo ng mapait na gamot. Minsan kailangan din nating maoperahan para lamang tayo ay mabuhay. Remember what our Lord Jesus said, I am the vine and my Father is the vine dresser. The fruit, the, the, the fruitless, the fruitless branches he cuts, but the fruitful ones he trims, he prunes. May mga pagkakataon. Kailangan talaga tayong pungusin ng Diyos. Kailangan tayong pungusin ng Diyos. Upang tayo ay lalong magbunga. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. O Christ Jesus, I acknowledge the King of the universe. All that has been created has been made for Thee. Exercise over me all Thy sovereign rights. I renew the promises of my baptism. I renounce Satan and all his works and all his pomps and I promise to live a good Christian life and to do all in my power to procure the triumph of the rights of God and thy church. Divine Heart of Jesus, I offer thee all my poor efforts in order to obtain that all hearts may acknowledge thy sacred royalty, and that thus the kingdom of thy peace may be established throughout the universe. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Our Lady of the Sacred Heart, hope of the hopeless, pray for us. The Lord be with you. Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless you to the Dominican family. Happy Feast Day. Don't forget to like and to share.